much to learn you still have. Yes, Master. Hey guys, welcome back. I wasn't going to let you go with just that horribly emotional <laughs> ending to a reaction video I posted today. I wanted to get in an actual, honest to goodness, vlog. And this was last minute, so please pardon me for a lack of preparation. Today is Love Your Pet Day, so I decided I would talk about pets in Star Wars. Uh, when Carrie Fisher mentioned that we don't see pets in Star Wars, uh, it was true that in the movies we don't really see um, animals kept as pets in Star Wars. Somebody once compared Chewie to the family dog, but since he is a fully sentient uh, creature and has his own intelligence and society and all that stuff, that's not fair. So... Now, in the old Expanded Universe books, there were several mentions of pets in Star Wars. Uh, for example, the smuggler Talon Card had a couple of pet Vornskers, and the Vornskers, if you remember correctly, they were Force-sensitive uh, creatures who lived on the planet Merker, who had, they had, like, whip tails and, like, poison in their tails and the predators. And anything Force-sensitive, uh, they could sense and or smell, and to them it looked like a big tasty meal. So obviously, <laughs> that planet for the longest time was off limits to Jedi, because they'd see a Jedi and it'd look, ooh, tasty. But um, Talon Card managed to tame a couple of them by uh, removing their tails and that actually ended up removing most of their hormones, which controlled their aggressive drive. So, at least with him and a couple of other people, they were semi-tame, although they did not like Luke. There were also these creatures called pittens, which I think were related to cats. They were mentioned a couple of times, but in books that shall not be mentioned because they contain a certain body-snatching individual that I will not talk about here. There's also pets in the new canon. Um, it's not, I can't think of a time when it's been officially mentioned, but several people have brought up that uh, something called a tuca, which is apparently a Star Wars version of a cat or a feline, are often kept as pets. There's an unofficial pet cat of um, General Hux called Millicent that. Um, I think somebody around Pablo Hidalgo has uh, joked about, and somebody even wrote a full fan fiction about Millicent's uh, backstory, and it's hysterical. Another variety of the Tuca is the Loath Cat. You know, they've got the flattened faces, but, you know, they're pretty much like Star Wars ver versions of cats. I know the original script for Phantom Menace called for the Nemoidians to have a pet bird that was in a cage, but that never came to fruition. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's been my vlog for Love Your Pet Day. I know it hasn't been longer or more detailed, and it's fairly benign, but hey, I'm still recovering from the emotional distress earlier this morning, so give me a break. Now for the interesting part, the question of the day, if you could have any creature from Star Wars, either Legends or Disney canon or old canon or whatever, from whatever book, movie, animated series, if you could have any one of those creatures as a pet, what would it be? Go ahead and post a comment below. But that's all for today, and until next time, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Bye, guys.